Hello, welcome to Sideline, to the program where we talk about important events with important guests. So today my guest is Eriko Tamura, who is a Chief Representative of Japan International Cooperation Agency. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet Eriko. Yeah, thank you for coming. And uh, could you please tell us, first of all, uh, the organization itself, what is JICA? Okay, thank you. So JICA is established uh, its office uh, in late 1990, mm -hmm. but we start our assistance to Mongolia from 1972. Mm -hmm. Our first project is the grant aid project for Gobi Kashmir factory mm -hmm. that is now big, very famous uh, brand. Mm -hmm. And uh, JICA is uh, conducted various projects, mm -hmm. including uh, technical assistance and also grant aid and also loan program. Mm -hmm. JICA has uh, 96 overseas offices all over the world mm -hmm. and uh, I think the operation size of Mongolia for JICA is just medium. Mm -hmm. So you already work in Mongolia for mm -hmm. one year. Yes. How do you find our country? Yes, uh, before I came to Mongolia, I have just very little I have very limited image to mm -hmm. uh, Mongolia. Mm -hmm. What I know is very it's just a uh, strong small restaurant mm -hmm. such as Asa Shoryu or Hakuho oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also a um, very vast uh, grassland. Mm -hmm. But after I came to Mongolia, I, find many, uh, I found many attractive uh, places and uh, attractive people. I mm -hmm. met uh, many attractive people. So I enjoy working with Mongolian people mm -hmm. and uh, the characteristic of the Mongolian people are very different from the Japanese mm -hmm, people. Mm -hmm. So there are many good points for Mongolian people. So they are warm, kind and open and also they are very flexible. Mm -hmm. The flexibility is very different from the Japanese mm -hmm. uh, because so the Japanese people uh, prepare everything oh, yeah. in very early <laughs> times. I see but, what you uh, mean. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, Mongolian can prepare for the important uh, events mm -hmm. in very short period of mm. time. So that was very surprising thing for me. But uh, at the same time, it sometimes uh, stressful for us because so our uh, working style is very different. Mm. Are you talking about Rabakan, which had mm -hmm. the, which has happened in uh, the end of August? Uh, not only about Robocon, but uh, so JICA conducts uh, very, uh, JICA have very, uh, have several uh, big events mm. such as opening ceremony of new hospitals or uh, opening ceremony of the new airports. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we request the Mongolian uh, counterparts to make the list of attendants, but uh, the list comes very late and uh, so. I always worry about the <laughs> preparation. It's a very important uh, mm -hmm. thing that you mentioned about that you mm -hmm. are always worrying about the preparation of yes, Mongolian right. people. You have just mentioned about mm -hmm. uh, this, that you worry about mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. preparations from mm -hmm. Mongolian side. Right. Uh, is it really sometimes brings you to complications? Mm -hmm. uh, are you facing some complications with this? Yes. Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> But uh, at the end, uh, the event uh, finished very successfully mm -hmm. and uh, it's kind of a miracle <laughs> for me why the Mongolian can uh, manage mm -hmm. the event so mm -hmm. in a short period of time and uh, they can make the event successful. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when we talked about mm -hmm. the projects, mm -hmm. events, mm -hmm. you also said about mm -hmm. the airport. Yes. Could you please tell us more a little bit about the new airport? Okay, so the airport uh, has constructed by the assistance of the uh, Japanese loan program mm -hmm. and uh, we uh, provided loan to the Mongolian government and uh, it has been constructed uh, for many years and the facility is almost uh, completed. 
and uh, they are waiting for the opening of the uh, real opening mm -hmm. of the operation. And uh, one of the characteristic of the new airport is the uh, and management will be conducted by the special purpose mm -hmm. company mm -hmm. uh, comprised of the Japanese consortium and mm -hmm. also the Mongolian side. Mm -hmm. And the uh, management contract will continue for 15 years. Oh. And uh, by, the, uh, by that contract, I expect the Japanese style management will be uh, delivered to the Mongolian side. Mm -hmm. We are talking a lot mm -hmm. about last time about the Japanese management yes. and also in the center of uh, Mongolian Japanese center they also provide some Japanese management and so on. Could you please give us a little bit more information about this management? Okay, yes. Uh, so the Mongolian Japan Center was established in 2002 mm -hmm. and uh, they provide uh, nearly 30 training course mm -hmm. for the Mongolian companies. And uh, so the uh, courses are very unique and uh, mm -hmm. con includes many unique topics mm -hmm. such as Kaizen and also uh, business uh, communication mm -hmm. skill, mm -hmm. pre presentation and uh, uh, proper accounting mm -hmm. and the proper uh, contract management and uh, I heard there are, uh, I heard that some successful cases of the uh, Mongolian company which uh, which experienced uh, uh, training courses of Japan Mongolian Center mm -hmm. so one of the company is Jurur mm -hmm. Jurur mm, is yeah. the famous uh, Mongolian bakery, bakery yeah, maker company. And uh, they sent some employees to uh, the center's training course, mm -hmm. and uh, they also visited uh, Japan mm -hmm. to see the uh, operation mm -hmm. or management of the Japanese company. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's, that may be one reason why they operate quite well in Mongolia. Oh, yes. Because they've learned a lot. I, I think so, yes. That's good. Yes. Perfect. So, as we know that mm -hmm. JICA also are concerned about mm -hmm. human resources in mm -hmm. the avia sector, could you mm -hmm. please tell us more about it a little bit? Yes. So, uh, the airport will open uh, next summer and uh, so at this moment uh, we have to keen on the uh, preparation of mm -hmm. the opening of new airport. So, and in addition to that, so uh, we have to uh, make sure we have to make sure the safety operation of the new airport mm -hmm. so that's why uh, JICA uh, delivered technical assistance to mm -hmm. its airport staff such mm -hmm. as air navigation when exactly airport should start already working yes not management staff, but exactly working like the, when airplane yes. will fly when people will yes. go and so on move. yes yes it's very <laughs> difficult question to sure. answer because but the currently uh, SPC special purpose company prepare for the real operation with the Mongolian side, mm -hmm. but uh, we expect the uh, opening date will around the uh, summer mm -hmm. 2020. Before NADAM. Before NADAM, I expect. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> New airport has very important role because I see the. Uh, great uh, growth potential of tourism in Mongolia mm. and uh, by the new airport uh, we can have more uh, passengers. Mm -hmm. The current airport can accommodate only 1.4 million people per year mm. but the new airport will have uh, 2 million people wow. and the uh, current airport has uh, difficulty in uh, geographical reasons so the current airport, in the current airport, uh, airplane can access to the airport from just one direction. Mm -hmm. But after moving to the new location, mm -hmm. the airplane can uh, access from two, two sides. And Both the, sides? Yes, mm -hmm. from east and eastern side and also western side. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of that, uh, we expect the cancellation or the, or the delay of flights will be reduced. Mm -hmm. And I heard that current uh, current taking off and the landing uh, ratio is uh, around seventy percent, mm -hmm. but uh, this ratio will be improved to nearly one hundred percent. 
Um, are there any statistics about uh, mm -hmm. this new airport? Like yes. after opening new airport, mm -hmm. how many workplaces will be created for Mongolian citizens? Uh, at this moment, uh, only airport is uh, in, the is in process. Of is in, in process, <laughs> but uh, so we are considering to develop the uh, neighboring area of the new airport. Mm -hmm. So we need to consider the way uh, how we can ma maximize the uh, impact of the new mm -hmm, airport. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we are now considering another support to establish new business area or logistic, logistic centers mm -hmm. around the airport. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you think that uh, there will be really big impact on mm -hmm. uh, urban development uh, on the territory around the new airport? I, I believe so. So, so everybody noticed about the problem of over-concentration of the capital yeah, sure. city. Yes. And uh, I heard that the municipality office will move to uh, Yamagu area mm -hmm. in near future. And then I think the uh, city will be expanded to the uh, west side and the east side of mm -hmm. the current capital. And uh, I think the neighboring area of the new airport can be another core city mm -hmm. and they can have more uh, workplaces and they can be an industrial center mm -hmm. of the Ulaanbaatar. Mm -hmm. As we all know, our city is one mm -hmm. of the very polluted yes. uh, in the world. And uh, could you please tell us about the impact of the new airport? Yes, I think uh, if the new town is created on the airport, the population will move to that area, mm. and then uh, people from Gary area mm -hmm. uh, may live in the uh, apartment around the airport. Mm -hmm. So by doing so, I expect the air pollution or uh, environmental pollution may be reduced. Mm -hmm. And what other projects mm. Japan provide in Mongolia? Yes, um, one of uh, our important project is uh, Mongolian Japan uh, Teaching Hospital. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the teaching hospital is new idea for Mongolia, mm -hmm. but it's common in Japan. Mm -hmm. So uh, in Japan, there are many teaching hospitals to, to provide training opportunity for students and also doctors and nurses. Mm -hmm. And uh, by using the facility of uh, teaching hospitals, the uh, doctors and nurses or as a medical staff can uh, can gain uh, mm -hmm. better practical skills. Mm -hmm. And uh, the new uh, Japan, uh, Mongolian Japan uh, Teaching Hospital has just opened on October 1st. Mm -hmm. And I heard that nearly uh, 300 or 500 uh, patients uh, visit visiting every day. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, so that, that hospital has uh, two important functions. One is uh, uh, providing better opportunities for uh, medical staff. Mm -hmm. And the, the other uh, function is to deliver uh, better medical services for Mongolian citizens. Mm -hmm. So again, so the hospital used the uh, Japanese style management, uh, Japanese style management and the uh, so the, in the hospital, the doctors and the nurses make one team to support the patients and the, uh, their families. Mm -hmm. And the, the idea of Japanese style management is uh, patient-centered medical services. Mm -hmm. And they, they consider the priority is the satisfaction of patients and the, their families. Mm -hmm. And the hospital facilities also very comfortable so that the uh, patients and their families can uh, minimize their stress. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, but I think the most important mm -hmm. thing that what Japan does mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. Mongolia is of course mm -hmm. this um, a new airport. Yes. And uh, could you please tell me about other, are there any, uh, mm -hmm. were there any other projects where Japan did their management mm -hmm. in other countries? In other countries? Yes. In other countries, uh, okay, we conduct many uh, projects in all over the world, mm -hmm. and uh, 
one of our focus is to uh, provide good infrastructure, mm -hmm. quality infrastructure we call it. So we construct uh, subways in mm -hmm. India mm -hmm. and uh, other countries and also we construct airports and uh, also schools, hospitals, many uh, economic and uh, social infrastructures. So we can uh, be really sure that Japan's Japanese School of Management is number one in the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, then let's mm -hmm. shift to another mm -hmm. uh, question, mm -hmm. uh, which is um, what exactly Mongolia should do to mm -hmm. improve mm -hmm. uh, avia sector? Okay, I think uh, the, the uh, Mongolia should uh, open the market, I believe, uh, because now the uh, airline, the number of airline is still limited, mm -hmm. and uh, because of that, uh, airfare is a bit expensive compared to uh, traveling to other countries. Mm -hmm. So for Japanese, uh, for Japanese tourists, uh, Thailand or Vietnam or Korea are uh, major tourist destination, mm -hmm. but the Mongolia's this distance is also very close to Japan. But mm -hmm. the number of uh, tourists tourist is still small mm -hmm. um, and uh, there are several reasons and the one of the reason may be the uh, air ticket is relatively expensive mm. and uh, in order to for Mongolia uh, in order to uh, in order for the development of Mongolia uh, the uh, increase the number of uh, tourists and also air cargo is cr is vital Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, Mongolia, Mongolia uh, employs the uh, open air policy, uh, they can have more airlines and also the uh, business chances with other countries. Mm. So it's really important for a uh, land of country such as like Mongolia. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let us conclude mm -hmm. then our conversation with mm -hmm. the last question. Mm -hmm. uh, could you please share with us with your uh, plans, what mm -hmm. JICA plans to do in near future? Okay, uh, so one of the uh, main issue is support the Mongolian government to achieve a sustainable development vision 2030. Mm -hmm. That is the ultimate goal that the Mongolian government uh, should achieve mm -hmm. and uh, so there are many goals and the targets and uh, some of them may be difficult to achieve by themselves but uh, we can support with Japanese experience and uh, uh, know-how mm -hmm. and the, the other important issue is to promote exchange of human resources mm -hmm. between Japan and Mongolia mm -hmm. uh, this year uh, Japanese government and the Mongolian government uh, concluded the agreement regarding the uh, special skilled uh, works. Mm -hmm. So that allow uh, more Mongolian workers mm -hmm. to work in Japan. And uh, by uh, promoting this uh, system, I think uh, more Mongolian people have opportunity to work in Japan and uh, they will gain many knowledge and uh, skill in Japan. And uh, I expect that these uh, Mongolian people will come back to Mongolia in future mm -hmm. to contribute the development mm -hmm. of the Mongolia. Mm -hmm. And uh, JICA would like to support those people with uh, Mongolian organizations. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Ms. Tamura. It was really nice to have you as our guest. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity and uh, I enjoy the conversation. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, today our guest was Ms. Mm -hmm. Eriko Tamura, who mm -hmm. is the Chief Representative of Japan International Cooperation Agency. We will see you next week with more guests. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.